he hasn't been here for <laughs> months, and somehow that is still true. <laughs> yes. Some things never change. That is oh. consistency. I love it. The last time we let Cervantes do his own thing, he beat a guy to death on a toilet. <laughs> Guys, that was like four <laughs> months toilet, ago. Toilet. <laughs> oh, whipped a bunch of gnomes in a brothel. <laughs> Yeah. Did. I did. Yeah. Like Listen, well, I commit yeah. to my character. That. <laughs> that was like day one. That was session oh. two or three. Yeah. I think he was. I, it it might have been session one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you that. <laughs> we shouldn't really be surprised. Right? We knew. Uh, but to catch Ethan up, um, it we was broke session in. one. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. like right out the gate. <laughs> yep. Uh, to catch Ethan up, we broke into that uh, that uh, the same place we're in right now. Uh, destroyed the anti mage thing. Kind of left Ethcot on fire. Hung out in in Waterdeep for a little while. Came back. Arson's dead. Lars is dead. No, uh, Lars isn't dead. Arson is dead. Uh, oh, Arson is dead, okay. And Metal's back. Oh, and um, the city kind of erupted in civ into civil war. Long story short, okay. Everything went to hell while I was gone is what I'm hearing. More direct and... what happened last time. Subri got brainwashed. Yeah, we I think fixed I remember her. We fixed that? We think? Well... You fixed one problem. We fixed one problem. She's still a warlock to Loth, so that's another problem. Mm -hmm. um, another problem is that we, uh, Ethan's doing mindfuckery to this guy over here. Uh, we gotta kill every other drow in the area. Mm -hmm. And we gotta not call in the mindfuck mage. Lismora, because the anti-magic field is down. And so Cervantes suggested to Subri, why don't you call Lismora and we can surprise her and do a murder? And then... And then Bubbles was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Wait, if we're going to have Subri be a double agent, we probably don't want to murder Lismora. I was really counting probably. on Ian to be the brain in that conversation. I'm arm deep in another man's brain and therefore <laughs> what happens is gonna happen i'm sorry but thankfully somebody was smart <laughs> only because she rolled a she passed a wisdom saving throw nice that's that's really it <laughs> okay um but she was about it she's like let's do it um oh yes so combat update um Oh yeah, so uh, Julian's character Zarius is currently engaged in combat with a plasmoid serial killer n necromancer who murdered his father. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's cast. I think he cast Spirit Shroud. Are already hitting the emotions right now. Okay. Mhm. Mm he's cast. He has Spirit Shroud, and we're in like. A bunch yeah. of insects or something. Yes, uh, the Priestess of Loth over there cast Insect Plague, which I then categorized as being a bunch of tiny spiders, even though spiders aren't insects. Arachnid Plague. Yeah, Arachnid Plague, yeah, exactly. Um, There's spiders and the spiders are flying. Yes, they're flying spiders. That's They've all got parachutes attached to their asses. <laughs> um, little web parachutes? Yeah. Little web parachutes, yeah, it's cute. It's, it's kind of cute. <laughs> it's kinda cute, yeah. Um, and I think that that concludes that. Okay. I need to absorb this field then, figure out who is the bad guy, who is the enemy, who is the good guy. Because <laughs> I see a lot of different colors. <laughs> Um, I think. Do you see nameplates? I only see mine and two others. For nameplates, see Bubbles and Subri. Okay, hold on. 
I'm just gonna turn on nameplates for bad guys. Over the okay. Drop pieces of lot. Drop mage who's dead. Zombie. He's a zombie. Oh, he's a zombie. Uh huh. How do you have an initiative of a 34? Uh, <laughs> I'm bullshit. Because he hates me. I like going first. <laughs> I like going first. 30. Take it or leave it. Okay. There we go. Um. So, Bubbles and Subri are over there. Bubbles is a... Air Genasi. Hmm. Um, and she currently has a hold of both sides of Subri's face and appears to be uh, walking her through a panic attack, maybe? Oh, so Subri's panicking. Yeah, she... Yeah. Please, guys, explain. Oh, uh, uh, I just cast Greater Restoration on her and uh, she had Modify Memory cast on her. From the mindfuck mage who mm -hmm. fucked us two sessions before. Mm -hmm. The mage okay. convinced Subri to make a pact with Loth, and uh, mm -hmm. now she's full of spiders. Mm -hmm. Ew. Mm -hmm. Also, Subri had subalt. What are they called? Uh, clones? She had a simulacrum. Simulacrum. And she had that running around the city for a while. Mm -hmm. One. This, this one's the real one, right? We know that for sure. Well, yeah, she's like not made of ice, so oh, that's, a okay. good, that that's a good start. But she is made <laughs> of spiders. She is made of spiders now, yes. Uh, um. Yes. Oh, uh, she is part of a, her group, presumably after she was joined to fed some bullshit and joined to Loth, split off from the Abet's, uh, Abet's rebel mages, and they've been setting the city on fire in acts of domestic terrorism. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds like a terrorism. <laughs> Let's do a oh. terrorism. Let's do a terrorism. Okay, so if you are not in the initiative tracker... Which I think is so, just Ethan. Shall I roll? Yeah, put yourself in there. Okay. Just that way you'll come in on your initiative count. Boogie. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Uh, uh, you know, honestly, that's, that's Accurate. great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, we are at the top of the initiative round. I'm just concentrating on feeding this man a new memory. Okay. And I don't think he gets to do anything. He's just incapacitated. Yeah. I believe I can double check that. Yeah, he. I, I think he is. Yeah, incapacitated, unaware of what's going on. But they can yep. hear me. Yes. As you whisper sweet nothings. <laughs> Okay, he is he's getting he's getting seduced by Ian Davril. Oh, uh, Davril's gonna run in, run around the corner and see Zarius, a new friend. I'm just gonna assume, yeah, she caused the spiders, so mm -hmm. I start blasting. Okay, anyway, I started blasting. Classic Davril, always blasting. No just blast, no questions, just. Um, oh, that's a net 20. Yeah, yep. Those both hit. That one misses. Okay, so... 13... And 15. Also, bonus action, uh, cash out later on. 
All right. I'll yell for metal to get in here. We got more wall spaces. That'll be it for me. I'm okay. away. It's Subri's turn. And she takes a few deep breaths and she had cast Intellect Fortress on herself in a panic earlier and she will um, she's going to peel Bubbles' hands off of her face and like fold them back against Bubbles' own chest and she's going to Okay. Cool. She will... Does she have that? I think she has that someplace. Oh no. I don't think any of these are a good idea. means I'm definitely going to do it. Oh, oh, great. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so she's going to... Let's see. Uh, let's see how far she needs to get. Yeah. She will... Use her action to dash to get there. And she will do do do. Yeah. Um she's going to wait there until she gets the opportunity to do something. That's probably a bad idea. Uh, it is Bubbles' turn. Um, and she sort of looks at her hands and like the smushed spider guts on one finger and she rubs it together and peels it off. She looks at Cervantes and uh, and Ian, where they're they're standing, and it looks like she's going to ask for advice, maybe something. Um, and then she doesn't, and instead runs after Subri. Um, there. Probably the best. You shouldn't ask it for advice from Cervantes. No, that's <laughs> sort of that's sort of what I was thinking. Um, the given. Yeah. And Ian's concentrating right now. Yeah. She's going to. Again, I don't know why I always look at this and I'm like, wow, uh, she doesn't have any offensive spells. Uh, she will actually use more of her movement to get up to... She's going to take a step into the insect plague because she can't see anything otherwise. Um, Whoops. She doesn't know that. They just look like spiders. Spiders. Uh, she's gonna do a con save. Which she actually passes. Ooh. Uh, 
Um. Sorry. It's me, brain. Um. Insect plague. 40 10. Oh. Well, that's lucky. So she'll take half of that. 40 10. Yeah, damn. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're in level 11 now. <laughs> so she'll take that damage. And then with her bonus action, she is going to use. Um, she'll use one of her. She'll use her Bardic Inspiration uh, and do Mantle, Mantle of Inspiration and give 5 HP. Or uh, give 11 temporary HP to Subri, to Zarius. Oh, Davril isn't too far. To herself, Subri, and Zarius. We'll all get 11 temporary HP. Uh, and that'll be her turn. And now it's Zarius' turn. Hi. Um, so... Davril shot the drow priestess. Yeah, let me. I'll make her. I'll make her. Concentrating on the. Yeah. I'll, I'll make her con say, her con check. Okay. Thank you. So she needs to beat a thirteen or fifteen. Okay. Nope, she fails. She is no longer concentrating on spiders. Flash. Yeah. No more spiders. Get out of here, Ring of Spiders. Here we go. Yeah, so Zarius, before crawling into a rage, uh, fighting this gelatinous wizard, um, made his best attempt to, you know, talk him down with no avail, and now is, you know, trying to take decisive action. And so, well, one hand tries to hold and grapple what is otherwise, it's kind of like trying to pin Jello to a wall. Um, with his free hand, he reaches into uh, his sort of baggy pet and pulls out a, a, a black sheet, it looks, and rips it all out in the same way that one might unfurl a, a blanket onto a bed in one large swoop as it settles on the ground next to him. Uh, it opens a portal. This is the Well of Many Worlds. Okay. Okay. Cool. Put him in the hole. I'm suddenly so glad we gave it to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I just thought of the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> the DM decides where it leads, so. Yeah. Oh, um, wow. Elemental plane of water, and suddenly the prison's filled with water. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean, um, you just know, dump them into a different campaign. <laughs> I I just like to point out that Davril's Davril's step douche is in a different plane of existence. <laughs> step douche. <laughs> So we're gonna roll a d100 and see where this goes, cause I don't have anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it's open. Do I have to tell you where it goes? Um, I can find out. <laughs> you can describe it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure we can see in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will use, so because of the spirit shrouds, I have 20 movement speed because it takes away 10 of your movement speed. Mm -hmm. And since I'm grappling him, I can drag him using half of my movement speed. So I'm going to use 10 feet of my movement speed to drag him five feet into the portal. Are you going with him? Yep. Okay. I mean, I can't throw them. Uh, true, oh. true. Um, 
so you look in and you see it almost looks like I'm going to say something completely uh, out of pocket so l let me look and see Dope. Um, you see an infinite ocean. An infinite ocean stretching out in every direction. And as you look, you realize that it's not water. It's Slime and muck and ooze. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Is there a way I can kind of try to hold on to the outside as I drag us both in? Uh, like holding on to the rim of the portal? Circular sheet. Uh, um, you, so you have to place it on a solid surface. You put it on the floor? Yeah. Okay. Um, it looks like you're on steps. This is gonna be like a weird stairs portal. Yeah. Uh, I will say since it's since you're going down, right? Um, it's like we go make... down and I can like hold on to the edge. Yeah. Make me a one arm muscle up. <laughs> yeah. Like. I'll, I'll do athletics checks all day. Yeah, do just make me an athletics check. Okay, and I'm raging, so I have this yeah. at advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thirty-one. Huh. <laughs> what the? F what the fuck? <laughs> It rolled it. I think the formula of it hit writing is weird, but I guess. Oh, is uh, seventeen and an eighteen plus thirteen? Yeah, plus thirteen. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. So. Yeah, you managed to hold on. I'm gonna see if there's any fucking thing he can do. Um. I'm gonna let him make a check to see if he can squirt out of your hands. Squirt. Yeah. He's made out of ooze after all. Um, it's time to go home, ooze man. Yeah. Let's see. Your people need you. Uh, no. He he goes he goes in the hole. I. I let him go in the hole, and I climb out. That that sound kosher so far? Yeah. Okay. And I will now action surge towards the hole. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you just okay. release a serial killer to to go free into another realm? Who knows where? <laughs> We've done it once before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck, this, this is y'all's problem. Shuts the door. <laughs> Good news is, well, Jen, we technically did not kill him. He's in the elemental plane of ooze. The peri-elemental plane of ooze, which is an endless sea. Of slime and muck and ooze, and it's used by wizards to torture their foes. <laughs> oh, ironic. Mm-hmm. Can this be? And... Keep going. And bonus action, second wind. Guess what this it. guy can't do? What's that? Lead. Lane shift. <laughs> well, that's a good. <laughs> And that is my turn. 
Okay. God <laughs> damn. Do I detect like a hit with just a button? I don't think you understand how long I spent baking that man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh come okay. on, I opened the portal back and I'll bring it. It's okay. It's okay. We'll bring him back in some, some other thing. We do. Now he's going to come we back in up. arc number two for, for his vengeance. <laughs> After absorbing all the ooze in the ooze plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yep, that's my turn. Okay, thank you. Um. Well, that's it's the the he goes in the hole, and his zombie drops to the ground. I didn't even get to use my cool zombie stats. <laughs> um. Let's see. I guess what she'll do is... She's gonna cast Ray of Sickness. I can't use it again for eight hours. The portal? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. We'll have to wait till then to bring him back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Who knows what it'll open up to next time. You know? Could be anything. Um, she's going to cast Ray Ray of Sickness at the fifth level. Uh, at Davril. Make me a con save. Oh, oh shit. Did I do Shot her with your fucking yeah, lamp? I, yes, I know. Um, okay, so that is. 68. That you pass. Um, so you'll take 11 poison damage. Looks like she used her 5th level spell slot and I did 11 poison damage. Okay. Um, that's her turn. And Oh yeah, you got Shadow Blade up. She is going to then, um, what's that arrow? What's that arrow? Mm -hmm. Uh, he's gonna back into in this corner here and uh, take a defensive stance, and that's what she's got. Um, I'm going to, I think with that amount of noise, probably the assassin would, nope, let's see what was going on, hey guys, what the fuck's I'm going on, go, hey guys, what's going on, um, Metal, it's your turn, uh, Metal is going to go, Uh, pardon me, Davril. Oh, where'd the ooze guy go? <laughs> and then, uh, he's gonna look at the, um, the drop priestess and go, fuck you, and cast Thorn Whip. Twelve? No. Cast Thorn Whip at her, and she's wearing scale mail. And you hit her, and it snags on the scale mail for a second, but it doesn't penetrate. And then, uh, that is my turn. All right. Cervantes, it's your turn. You're just standing in this office with Ian while he digs around his psychic fingers in this man's skull. First <sighs> order of business. How official does this office look? <laughs> This used to be the warden's office, when it was an actual jail. So it looks like an, an official office. But like, do I suspect that this office is like a permanent office fixture for Subri or whoever runs this place now? Or is this just um, like an office that they use for like, 
impromptu board meetings. <laughs> mm, make a perception check. Oh, I'm so perceptive. Uh, it looks pretty well lived in. Yeah, you see in the papers on the desk stuff that is definitely in Subri's handwriting. I start rummaging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you looking for anything in I'm, particular? I'm like looking for anything political, anything, uh, anything of note, or anything that's just like that catches my eye. Quite frankly. Okay, you uh, begin rummaging through the, this stuff, um, and you see. Mm, battle maps drawn. Looks like a hit list of areas they wanted to torch. You see letters between Subri and Lismora. Um, you see um, essentially plans for coordinated strikes across the city. Um, you also get a whole bunch of spiders on you. Yep. Uh, just, just a bunch of little spiders. I'll spend my turn just like, just grabbing, shoveling papers out. I'm like, that looks important. This looks important, and I just you see p papers just being crammed in every crevice of my outfit because I don't. Okay. I don't know if I have like a. Do I have a backpack? I don't know. I'm making mm -hmm. it fit somehow. I'll put it in my pants if I have to. Okay. Yeah. Easy enough. Oh, I do have a backpack. It's the assassin's turn. Uh, and they're going to just use their whole movement to get as far as they can. And the assassin does not have cunning action, so that's as far as he gets. Okay. Alright. Um, I do just Hearing sounds of battle, I would assume, uh, I would come running straight down, looking around, like, and I see Subri. Um, how does he, she look right now? Um, What's that? Subri oh, looks, uh, Subri looks, like, physically fine. She hasn't taken any damage. Um, she's a little pale. She's like, normally a pretty, out. yeah, she's a little freaked out. Um, She's normally a fairly dark complected woman and she's looking a little gray around the edges. Um and it looks like she's like mid run from around the corner and she has her hands out like she's prepared to cast a spell. But she doesn't appear injured in any way. Okay. And then I noticed this other fellow on the stairs. It looked like he just climbed out of a hole last mm -hmm. second. Um <laughs> Um, what was your character's name? Because I, I technically don't know you. Um, but you would just actually just see, um, a woman with snow white hair. Um, from what you can tell, it looks like she's blindfolded and wearing just a black dress. Um, along with some, like, high heels. But you do notice that she has a blade flo uh, floating behind her that has a, uh, a sigil, uh, around the hilt of it. And... See, seeing the priestess law, it looks like she's about to attack these two. I assume there's a battle going on, so I just reach for the blade. And I immediately come over here and said, um, I'll make sure nothing happens to you, whatever the hell is going on here. And with that, I just place my hand um, on this wall right here. And a little, what looks like a turret one could assume, is placed there. Okay. Last time, somebody she just met offered to protect her. Um, she pointedly noted we just met. Oh, well, are you talking to Bubbles or Subri? I assume you were saying that to Subri. Yeah, Subri. Yeah. Oh, it was to Subri? 
Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were white knighting bubbles. <laughs> uh-huh. I was like, let's, let's make this a trend. Oh yeah, no, bubbles would not have. That would not have been all right. <laughs> bubbles does look a little bit askance at the fact that there's like this attractive girl that's like, Subri, I'll protect you," and she's like. The fuck happened while I was gone? Um, okay. Uh, Anything else? I guess if anyone were to come at it, looked like you're hostile to me, I will swing at them. That's my okay. hold action. Okay. Cool. Ian. Um. Just feeding this guy a new rundown of what happened, which is basically so far that we came in, tried to talk to Subri, uh, things went poorly, and we ended up fighting. Uh, got most of the drow, and the ooze, well, I'll save off on whole telling him we got the ooze man until I learned that we got the ooze man. <laughs> but this lasts for a minute, so it's I'm just kind of rambling. Okay, he is listening. Davril, it's your turn. Go by metal, I'll run up to her, and I'm gonna start slashing, I guess. Started stabbing. So anyway, I started stabbing. Yes, 21 hits. That was just for a while. Uh, 21. Uh, 16 also hits. Alright, and then this is for the Shadow Blade. Okay. Uh, 18 also hits. Okay, and so 16, 17, or 16 and 13. And shadow blade damage, go. Okay. Yeah, you run up to this priestess of Loth and just start slashing her to bits. Big wounds appear on her chest. She's Bleeding profusely, a few spiders skitter out. Kind of jump back a little bit at that. Uh, Ew, spiders. Yeah. But uh, I, I just want to be clear: we we are like killing. We we only need one alive. Right? Yep. Oh. I mean, if you're not killing her, I am. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. That's it for me. Okay. It's Subri's turn. Um, and she will, yeah, that's what she's going to do. She'll say, she'll walk, she'll squeeze in between you, say thank you, but I think, I appreciate it, but I think I've got it. (laughs) And she's going to... Um, he holds out the short sword at her side and she's just going to cast Eldritch Blast at the Priestess of Loth. Not like flying spiders, is it? Just like... Uh, it actually, she, she, pull, she pulls out Loth's finger and points the hilt the blades la- laid against her forearm, and she points the hilt at the Priestess of Loth, and um, it actually looks like spectral webs, you know, sickly green and gray, shoot from it and twine around the Priestess of Loth for a minute, and you see them almost shudder and hesitate as it makes contact, and then it's tighten around her neck, um, and Super just pops her head off. Noise. Um, and then in her uh, agitated state, she just fires the last three of her remaining Eldritch Blasts directly into the floor and leaves a crater about like this. Um, that's her turn. Um, 
Bubbles is going to back away from this white-haired lady that she's never met before. Um, and and she's going to send a mess. She's going to send a message to Davril. Davril, there's a new person on the floor. Um, in case that changes the the subterfuge we're trying to pull off here. I said the name. Sorry. Yeah, that, that, no, no, okay, yeah. Okay, I got that. Roll yeah. credits. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> we're done here. Yeah. All done. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, does she look like she's going to attack any one of us or uh, what's, what's her deal? I mean, I'm, I'm just now, I guess I now notice uh, uh, this new person entering. Um, she looks like she's attached at the hip to Subri. Like, don't, don't let her steal your, don't let her steal Subri away after you just relax. Uh, this isn't how message works, but I think this is funny. Um, <laughs> it's like, what are you I doing? Don't... Like, why'd you back off from her then? I, I'm not sure that, you know, modify memory doesn't change who you are, right? Yeah. I know that. So this means that Subri would have made these same choices. And I don't know if I can be with someone who has that in her. Well, I mean, yeah, her memory was modified, but I mean, this, you know, mindfuck we bitch, I mean, who knows what else happened, you know? I think, given her expression of being a servant of love, I, I think that's something she definitely was not planning to do. Uh, oh. I, I said maybe try to talk things out. I, I still think, given the fact that you held your letter, uh, kept it pretty safe, I still feel at least something she feels for you. I guess probably this is not the best time to discuss this now that I'm thinking about this. Probably not, no, but sometimes things end for a reason, Davril. That's true. Um, and that's the end of her turn. <laughs> this is this has been emotional confessions with her new stepdad. <laughs> with the new stepdad. Best dad so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. trying, guys. <laughs> Sorry, it's your turn. Okay. Um, so a lot has happened very quickly. First of all, as soon as I get out of the hose, I'm, uh, hole, I'm still covered in ooze, and so I'm trying to like kind of de ooze myself. <laughs> but in the process, because I haven't attacked anyone, and the sort of pit of rage that I felt, you know, for the brief moments that he lost his composure, um, sort of fades away. So I'm no longer enraged. But as I look up from my, like, de-oozing, I see a lot of things that I, I, I don't quite understand right away. Uh, Subri bubbles, this other person who definitely was not in Sebastian's notes. Um, and the last he saw Subri, she was brainwashed. So he's about to put his dukes up to fight all of them if he has to, uh, when Subri blasts uh, a hole in the head of the Drow Priestess, and he tries to put two and two together real fast. Um, I'll take the dodge action, but he creeps forward and asks, Is everything okay? Absolutely not, but I'm <laughs> more myself, at least. Fair enough. What's, what's happening in the other room? Are they okay? Are we... Is this over? The 
Um, it, well, the blueberry's got his fingers uh, in in that that drow's brain currently. Some sort of um, magic. Ma- yes, magic. He hasn't cracked his skull open, as far as I know. Not <laughs> when I left, at least. Um, magically fiddling around with his memory. Um, had a little bit of a panic attack in the other room. But uh, as far as I could tell, the plan is that I would continue to play a Trojan horse of sorts and pretend that I had not had my memory issues corrected. I wish we had met under different pretenses, Subri, but pleasure to meet you. Oh, yes. What's your name? Oh, I'm uh, Zarius. Zarius. And your friend here? Um, she turns to you. Do you, what? By what name do your friends call you? They just call me no one. I'm no one of interest, no one of importance. Well, This is no one. I think the appellation's a little bit silly, because clearly she is someone, but... No, no, don't worry about it. I've met a few no ones in my life. And Mm. he walks and stands there, assuming just waiting. Okay. Okie dokie. This fucker's dead. Metal. But I was going to take a moment and try to listen to see if any footsteps from upstairs or anywhere else is trying is coming here closer or very quickly. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Make me a perception check. Not with advantage because it's not sight based. Mm-hmm. 23. Still plenty. Um, you listen for a moment, and you can hear, uh, running footsteps coming from this direction. You listen above, and... It's a pretty thick amount of stone between these two levels, but... You don't hear anyone else coming down the stairs. There's a chance that, um... I knew albino friend down at the end of the hallway might have been the person that was sent to check on this. I did see that, though, uh... Jog my memory. There's only drought down here, not in the upper levels, right? Right. You didn't see any drow upstairs. Okay. Uh, and if you recall, there weren't any... There was one drow in... You weren't there for most of that battle. But you don't recall having seen Subri or Subri on the surface in the company of any drow. Other than, like, maybe a couple, but they are people who've been members of the Mage Rebellion and were on Abet's side and didn't split off with Subri. I... I... So you have the impression that, uh, the the drow are an under are an, <laughs> an underground addition to her entourage. Right. Um, I am going to use a bonus action turn into an Aram Emblem. All right. Just because that sounds cool right now, and I still have one more wild shape after that, and um, I I'm now large and. Where's the airline? Oh, cool. That one's neat. Uh, uh, you just see metal is the parts that make up most of his body starts to just like float around him. Like the tree wrist recedes and his arm arms and everything start to spin around. Kind of like a uh, uh, Storm Atronach in uh, Skyrim. And then uh, 
bunch of clouds just kind of billow out from the metal and he becomes an air elemental and then moves about 50 feet to right here. It's fucking windy. It's fucking windy now. <laughs> um, and as an air form, can I speak? I thought it looked like I'm about to attack you. I'm getting too close. Uh, I'm also um, very confused. Uh, <laughs> if you guys can speak primordial, I guess I say... Bubbles uh, can. Bubbles will translate. We have more, uh, at least one more person incoming from around. Uh, uh, you see a, ha a, a hand made of cloud point this way. It's metal. That's metal. I don't know who metal is. He's a friend. <laughs> um, I, in the notes, they said he turned into a rock man. Uh, I guess he can turn into other kinds of men. Beings? Elementals. He's got so many men inside him. <laughs> el 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 elementals, I think. Um, the ones that I the ones that I grew up with. Some had gender. Some didn't. Perhaps it's a little above my pay grade. That sort of thing usually is. Uh, but he says that there's another person around the corner. Noted. Anything else, Metal? Uh, that is everything. Okay, Cervantes, you're digging for gold. Are you going to continue to rifle through this desk? Um, is there more to rifle through? Uh, I would say that you swept everything off of the top of the desk. There are drawers. Oh, I'm throwing the drawers open. I need to, like, dig okay. it all out. <laughs> okay. You dig through the drawers. You find uh, what looks to be a ledger, like uh, an accounting ledger. You find uh, some sort of thick folios of other correspondence, battle plans, um, and you find... Let's see. Uh, you find 600 gold pieces in a sack. Man, this political you... shit? Cool, but 600 gold? Hell yeah. <laughs> are you going, Are you robbing our friend? <laughs> yeah. No. He's making the whole the, the thing that we rob, we attacked them look convincing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? Uh, uh, he's making the attack look convincing. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, that'll be your turn. 600 gold richer. So, let's see. You can get to there. He gets to there. And he's like, Oh, fuck. Subri, are you all right? Just like... <laughs> the fuck is that? What? Are we under attack from that the genie the genie lady from the from the gem district? I hate her. Hate her so much. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you can make an insight check to see if he means Doremi or Rashaya. It doesn't matter either way. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know either. Um, and Subri is. Let's see how deceptive she is. Huh? Could be worse. She'll. He comes around the corner and he's like, she goes, um. Well, as you can see, the. The Triple R have come in to demand that we lay down our arms, and that's about as gone about as well as everything else they stick their feet into. Which I guess is. Oh, hey! Sure. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, closer than I thought it was going to be. Um, 
he believes her and squares up so that he is sort of dividing his attention between um, the air elemental and Zarius. Uh, this priest would have gone and hit at some point because she's like, it's way above my pay grade. I was going to say, that looks like the person that was here last time that we told, like, yeah, you're not getting paid enough to do this. Go somewhere else. Yeah, she's like, I'm like a level two spellcaster. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with this shit. Um, she's hiding under the bed. Uh, no one, it's your turn. Um, okay. So I guess I would just, like, walk around and kind of give Subri, like, a look, like, do you want me to finish him off? Well, yeah, I want you to make an insight check to see it, which version of the events you believe. <laughs> okay. I mean, I just, I saw a drow, her kill a drow, so I'm assuming she wants to drow dead. Yeah, you can make it with advantage. You uh, you are absolutely sure that um, you are absolutely sure that Subri is lying to this man. All right. And then how far was that? Hold up. One, two. Gonna. Fifteen. Or ten. Yeah, it was ten and twenty yeah. from there. Oh. Use a bonus action as that turret will shoot at that assassin first. Okay. So it's a strange spell attack. Um, I don't know what to use to fire that though. But uh, if you go to your spells, um, you just hit the one in the middle. If it's a ranged spell attack. So, modifier spell attack save DC. Just click on the one in the middle, and that'll be to fire. For the ballista? I, I'm under spell if it's attack. A if it's a ranged spell, spell attack. From the turret, that's what it is. Yeah, if it's a... Um, let me, I can look, but it should just be your... Make sure to be able to click on that. Ranged spell attack, conflicting... Trying to find it under spells. My campaign says. So Fucking artificers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Artificers that that create an Eldritch cannon. Um, it's a force ballista? Yes. Okay. Yeah, just hit your, um, on your spell, on your spell sheet, just hit the spell attack. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. And then you'll roll the damage. Uh, yes, uh, 21 hits. Cool. And then that damage will be... Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. There you go. Okay. He will take eight damage. He's like, no one. What the fuck? I was teaching you how don't... to play cards and everything. I don't. I don't respond, and I just hit him with a blooming blade. Sincerely, what the fuck? I guess I didn't put the longsword first. <laughs> I don't know how the spells work. <laughs> it's been too long. Yeah, there you go. Um, using it one handed or two handed? Two handed. Okay. Do you have Warcaster? Or does that not apply to artificers? Does not. I mean, I'm a. I'm also because of my other Eldritch Knight, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because your weapon could be your spellcasting focus. Um, doot doot doot. Sixteen does hit. 
So that'll be 19 damage and another 14 if he moves. Mm -hmm. Right. Then I will just take a step back. Or a few steps back. You move away from him? Mm hmm. I also have the mobile feet. Okay. Uh, Ian is knuckle deep in this man's brain. It's weird in there. No spiders, though. Uh, but I'll he seems do... really sad that he's not doesn't have any spiders. <laughs> I'm sad for him. Maybe I'll leave some spiders for him. <laughs> uh, I'll move Pop you got a spider. down here okay. and kind of let me know what's happening so I can make it sound a little more truthful. She's like, um, well, there's a white-haired lady in a pretty dress, and she's attacking an assassin, and I think that there's, uh, it looks like one of those guns that Lars uses that's stuck on the wall, and then metal is an air elemental, and there's an assassin, and he's very upset and confused, and his accent is funny. Thank you for the last bit. I'll, I'll definitely include that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, he's getting maybe some My bonus heart. spiders. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Davril, it is your turn. Right. Uh, first, I'm going to rummage through uh, this. There... Can I find anything on this priestess? Nope. Or did she burst into spiders? Oh, uh, yeah, she would have turned into spiders, but you could still search through her belongings. Like, her robe yeah. is still there. It's just a roiling mass of spiders inside it. Oh, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, okay. Um, you find. Uh, okay. So you find. Um. Three hundred gold worth of spell components. And you find a scourge. It's a... It's a plus one to hit... I, I'm not sure if it'll show up, but if it's not, I'll make it. It's a plus one to hit weapon. It's got a five foot reach. It, it hits for 1d6 plus your dex, uh, but it also does 5d6 poison damage. Okay. Scourge. Scourge. Let's see if anyone wants that. And now, uh, time to go see who's talking that shit up. My genie one. <laughs> uh, so I will come down here and I guess dash to kind of get a little closer to see. Kind of push through. <laughs> like, like, who's talking that shit? Uh, <laughs> who's talking shit about my women? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Who fucking said they ain't a genie? Ah, uh, that's gonna be <laughs> fair. This Isaac goes. It was me. She always yeah. sends her elementals, and they zap me in the ass. All right, I figure I know which one you're talking about, but still, you're gonna kill. <laughs> we have lightning abilities. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Didn't you know? I don't know. Uh, no, but it, but Rishaya can right. summon more than Rishaya can summon more than just air elementals. Oh, wow, well, yeah. You yeah. saw you saw lightning snakes and stuff. Yeah. Um, it says right here in this book. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I could have turned into something and not know about. Gosh. Uh it's Subri's turn. I feel like I want her to do something horrific. Because I didn't give her all of these excellent spells not to use them, right? Right? You just um, do it. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to... What do we want to do here? 
that'd be mean. That would be really fucking funny, though. <laughs> um, she drops Intellect Fortress. Um, it, go away. Oh, whatever. She's going to drop Intellect Fortress, and then she's going to um, walk around this guy. Walk around to this guy. And just do, 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 do. And get right up, right up in front of him. Yeah. Beep. Um. And. She's gonna upcast Vampiric Touch. Cause why not? Oh. Um, oh boy. I don't know why that rolled twice. Why'd you do that? It's the first one. Um. She reaches out and just closes her hand around his throat and it looks for a moment like her hand turns into so many spider legs and they just pierce into his throat a little bit. Um, and she does 13. 13 damage. That's not a lot of damage. No, no, I could... The Empire Touch doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I've learned. No. Um, and that is her turn. Bubbles is like, what the fuck? She looks at Darvel, she's like, see, this is. What, what in the. I don't. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a hurdle to overcome. Or... <laughs> what time? <laughs> um. <laughs> the only thing she's got to is anybody besides Zarya is hurt. No. Okay. Um. He just, she's like, oh, for, for God's sake, this is getting a little bit out of hand, and she just looks at him and says, I suggest you should sit down. I'm just going to cast suggestion on him. Oh, yeah. So he needs to make a wisdom save. Which he fails. So. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I think he gets to. Oh, it doesn't say. So, okay. He gets advantage on that. Because it's charm. Like, nope. Hmm. Uh, so he will, on his turn, will just sit down. He sits down. Oh. Sorry, it's your turn. Chris would prefer not to fight someone who has not shown any aggression towards us yet. Because he hasn't even had a chance to attack. And there's plenty of people here. So. Zars, did you not just hear what he just said a few minutes ago? That's the <laughs> aggression. I'm, I'm sorry. Did, did he say something to offend you? Uh, yeah. 
Oh, so Zarius is not aware of any genie fuckery. That, that is it. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> he lacks the critical information. Mm-hmm. Um, he he kind of sees where this is going and um, kind of turns away from the situation and will we'll start walking back the way he came. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, Metal, it's your turn. Uh, Metal's just gonna go over here and use Whirlwind. Okay. Uh, he needs to give me a, um, a strength saving throw. Yeah, he's real good at that. Oh, it's a four. Not good enough. Uh, he is thrown... 20 feet away in a random direction, not prone, and uh, uh, takes 3d8 bludgeoning damage when he hits, when he hits the ground. Yeet. Okay, he gets yeeted this direction, and Bubbles is like, I, he was already going to sit down. He was going to sit down. And now he's, definitely, and then, now he's sitting down over there. And then... When Ian is done with the other one, he could have modified the memory of this one. Hmm. And then we don't have... Ian's very stingy about his spells. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'll just ask him very nicely. I'm very charming. I mean, maybe I can try restraining him. I still have two attacks. Uh, oh. uh then, uh, I guess I'll just move up to here and if we use my first attack to just grapple him. What the hell's my strength modifier? Is it, it's fucking wind. Fucking wimby. It's fucking wimby. Uh, to grapple him for a 21. Um, no. He, he, you, you, you wrap him up in your breezy arms. Alright, he's basically got a tornado around him. Breezy arms. <laughs> yeah. And he, I will... he is wrapped in your breezy arms. If I breezy, can, I'll just... Breezy beautiful. I'll just keep him restrained and... Uh, grappled and just prone. Okay. Um, I do have a question, Metal, which is what does metal, air elemental metal look like? Air elemental metal uh, looks like just a billowing storm cloud with arms and a face, but um, you could see shadows of stuff swirling around in the storm cloud, kind of like a constant tornado. Oh. So there's there's a uh, pollution in them there clouds. The pollution is metals, metal bits. Mm, that yeah. Couldn't turn into air. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um so this guy is restrained. Um I will say that with this guy, I'll give him one nominal attempt to break free. It is a natural one. Um, and then I'll say that we are out of combat with this guy restrained. I says, well, I guess I didn't need to use that spell slot. First order of business. Are, are there any, like, drinks or glasses around this room? Um, <laughs> yes, there's a... What passes for a wet bar uh, over here in this corner? It's not nearly as impressive as the... Um... Not nearly as impressive as the wet bar at Subri's house, but it's something. Well, something's all I need. I'm gonna go make a simple mixed drink, and then 
Yep, I'll take a vial of uh, laxatives and pour it in the drink and then have it ready for this poor sucker who comes out of his uh, trance. <laughs> um, uh, okay! Uh, just so you know, when this ends, he's going to think what I told him happened, happened. So he's going to attack us if we're still here. I'm gonna put it in his hand and like have him hold it. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we leave, he'll just be there holding a glass. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, that's that that's all the shenanigans I had planned. Y'all do your thing. Alright, that curfew is done. Um I am actually going to slowly walk past Subri and walk towards the assassin. Blade in hand. Like, I'm going to finish him off. That, that, that. Who is this person? Subri, who is this person? This is... <laughs> you know, this is why I said you ought to have a name. Because every time I say, this is no one, it makes me sound like an asshole. Um... Yeah, like, is that French or like, this is not literally a no one? You're the leader here. I'm just here to protect you, or kill anyone that you want me to. Is, am I allowed to kill this person or not? I think perhaps you can hold off on... I'll tell you what. You can kill him later if he becomes a problem, but let's hold off for a moment. I think perhaps maybe I've done enough wholesale slaughter. And as she says that, a spider crawls out of her ear. And across her cheekbone, and then disappears into her tear duct. Uh, uh, I pretend no. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disturbed uh, though. Yeah, oh, you... Bubbles looks. Bubbles grabs a hold of the back of your, the back of your armor, and is like, "What?" The... I pretend you don't just, just play it <laughs> we'll, We will talk about this later. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Oh my Whatever god. Whatever you say. That's a change of heart for sure. Walk back, tossing I... my blade to the side as it floats back to my back. Things are a little complicated right now, but rest assured, everything will be just a okay. A okay. Just peachy. You're not right? doing so well, are you? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. At all. Um, not, not even a little bit, actually. Um, well. I think that we should come up with a plan very quickly. Or she she just walks around the corner. Blueberry, how much longer do you have on that? Um, if I had to guess, I'd say about forty seconds. You have message, right? Or send it. I do. I do. Well, if you want to talk to us, uh, we'll be waiting. Otherwise, I think this man's going to chase us out of here, and I suggest you join him in that attempt. In about thirty seconds now. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. Um, hmm. If we have to do that, I'm kidnapping this guy. He also <laughs> doesn't have any weapons or anything. That's like, true. He, he, should, he is de-weaponed. He is he de-weaponed. De Thoroughly stripped uh, down. <laughs> he is not naked. We <laughs> can confirm DM it wouldn't let me. No, so, socks on the psychopaths. I just I just like to point out to you all, dear souls, that if Ian is not going to modify the memory on the other one and you're not going to, I don't know, take him hostage and get information from him, etc. etc. Perhaps you also want to kill him because he definitely knows. Oh, I I already told this guy we killed him, so you're not gonna memory wipe this guy too, here? No. Um, well, this man's going to attack us. Okay. So, unless oh. we kill him 
and then I remember he was the other guy. It's, it's no, no one. I have, good, I have good news, no one. Why don't you go? You get to go kill that man. Sounds good to me. Why are you and saying then, you have good news for no one? Oh. <laughs> no, not me. that man. The other one. The, the This one down here. Who's on first? <laughs> The one that's the the one that had been restrained, down here. He's got nine hit points left. I'm just gonna say you kill him. Uh, I'll He's head dead. Back the way we came. Um. Uh, sounds good. So, all right. Well, um. Um. I have more health than I you. Somebody punch me. Uh, Cervantes? Or... <laughs> oh my god, metal! <laughs> metal flies over, uh, all the metal bits fly out and into his fist, and he slams it into her. Yeah, just... Great. Great. Um... Uh... Oh. That doesn't hit. No, <laughs> that doesn't hit? <laughs> no! For God's sake, I don't know, hit yourself! <laughs> <laughs> No, that doesn't hit. It's about to hit her. He gets a second attack. That, that one will hit. <laughs> it would have laughed if he didn't hit. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it wouldn't hit if she cast shield. But she wants to get punched, so. What the? Um, yeah, you punch her right in the face. And she takes uh, 16 damage and will... Um, Sort of back up a couple of steps. She's like, well... <laughs> Thanks, I guess! Alright. Um... Before, oh. Uh, before we, like, officially pop up, do you have, like, a sending stone for us to keep in contact with you from now on? Because I think we have, like, a limited amount of time to cast that. On our uh, mm. Um... Um, mm. Yeah? Yes. Yes? I really don't recommend... I don't recommend... I just keep remembering all of... I'm having a lot of secondary embarrassment, currently. Um... Latent embarrassment? <clears throat> you want to drink away the embarrassment? Um. Cervantes, I know what's in that bandolero. I'm not. <laughs> 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 but um, she pats around in her pockets, and you see her. She almost visibly shudders as she touches the short sword at her waist, and she pulls out a couple of sending stones. And uh, she just chucks it at you. All right. Now we can commence with this whole thing. All right. I'm just curious. Are things going to be okay upstairs? Because I, I think the situation with the whole anti-magic field being gone is that is that going to be a problem for us? Um. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um All right. Um no one. Will you show them out through the sewers, please? Very well. Is a sewers escape? That way. Don't step in the teleportation circle. I don't think you'd like where it goes. <laughs> Noted. Uh, and or anyone else up there. With that, I will boop this guy on the forehead, and when I cast Modify Memory, I imagine it puts like a little clockwork face on their forehead that then comes out, and it's like you see all the gears turning, and I'm just fiddling with the gears, and it all shoves itself back together, rewinds a bunch, and then speeds back up, and uh, starts ticking normally, disappears. Well, Super, you're beyond saving, and I, I... 
you're ruined and we'll never forgive you for what you've done to this city. And with that, good day. And Ian starts running. Okay, um, she will, as you all are running, she'll fire a few half-hearted fire... She doesn't trust herself to cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> uh, she purposefully misses with fire bolts as you all are fleeing. And this guy comes out and he's like, Glass in hand. He, is, he throws the glass on the ground. He's like, ah, and he goes to take his. So, and he's like, where's my. So he's like, I think they cast time stop. I don't. Um, I'll, gonna... I'll, I'll chase him down. Just draw my blade and chase after him. I bet I'm like, gonna go. <laughs> Metal's gonna grab Cervantes and fly away. You fools! No one can stop us! Wait for you two to run, then I'll start chasing. <laughs> yeah. So um, Rodgers hears the glass break and goes, DAMN IT! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, uh, no one will lead you all down into the sewers. Um, and they are just as rank and vile as they have been every time you've been in there. Um, a... the plane of ooze, this isn't too bad. No, <laughs> it, actually, compared to, compared to the plane of ooze, it's much better. Um, and um, you get popped out. We'll go to the city map. Over her. Um, and I would say that you get popped out right about here. In a rainy, overcast afternoon. Metal's gonna turn back into his normal form. And, uh... Kind of look at the party and go, does anybody else feel like that we should have just grabbed Subri and ran? Uh, really? Mutt? The future's looking bright. I can only take so much Subri in one day. Mm. I've said those words before. Seems like we did the best that we could with what we had. And Honestly, they, I think that went better than I, I expected. We have a person on the inside, and I think this is one of the few times we might have a, a card that the mages don't expect. Cool. Also, she followed us. Who? Who are you? No one. Story on your pet's health. It starts inside the gut. No, no one. <laughs> Uh, Ian, Ian it, it seems as though they go by the name no one. Uh, oh. Maybe they don't have a name, or they're just Would you like a name? An alias. I think we should give her a name. Do you like no one? I <clears throat> don't care what name you guys give me. How about Noel? I think you, you guys, I think you guys are doing this, are going about this all wrong. You see, I've been a no one before. Have you ever been on an, anatom an anonymous hookup, like? Speed dating thing? No. No. Yeah, like no, you no. identify as either like anonymous no. or like, or like a torso pick or no one, you know. Yeah, it, Bubbles is nodding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, I think this person just doesn't want us to know their identity because they're like, they they're just here for a good time and then they're gonna be gone. Is that true? No. Are you for here to fuck good me? Time, as good time as in fighting, sure. But as in that term, I actually have rare experience with. Hmm. But I've just been called no one for as long as I can remember. You look like Subri's guardian or something of the like. Which I am. But it sounds like she wanted me to escort you guys out here to make sure you guys were safe. I'm assuming your objective is to stop this war or whatever this event that's going on? For the most part. 
That's all intense. Plan to end it. Um, is there some place that you all would be heading as you are having this conversation? I have a suggestion. Mm -hmm. that, um, well, we have Subri on the inside. Um, we've confirmed that Subri is um, was being controlled by the Calp Wizards, and you know now we kind of have an upper hand there. But maybe a bet and the rest of the hold on what do you, what do you call them sewer mages uh, don't know that. It probably would be good to share that information with at least a bet. I don't. I don't think there's anyone in there who would be a turncoat, but I'm sure that can be trusted. And hopefully they... that we're on the same team, more or less. Uh... The last time we saw him, he was in that big fight where Arson mm -hmm. died, and mm -hmm. he ran. Mm -hmm. I was technically a sewer mage. You were. Was it... Was the bet kind of like, was that odd behavior of him to just leave like that? Um, no. He projects an air of, like, confidence and, like, almost, like, um, like, meditate, like a meditative quality about him. But nobody survives this long on the wrong side of the cowled wizards in Ethkatla. Without knowing when to cut and run. I bet's trustworthy. He's just smarter than us. I can. I can. I can send a message. Send a message. With a charge. Right. 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 Oh, oh. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry, hold up. You're such an excellent yodeler. Oh. Wow. Thanks, I've been practicing. That better? Ham, 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 ham. No, she's getting echoed. She's getting echoed. Damn it, hold on. Is that Ethan? Is that Ethan? Okay, try now. Hello? Oh, it's better now. Better. <laughs> better. Yeah. What did weird? you do? Really <laughs> okay. Sorry about I that. I guess that is a, a problem that magic can fix if there's a way that you can communicate over long distances. I can. I have I've I've met him before. Sugri tried to pull me into that. Um not a fan? No. I wasn't easier at first, but... You have to work with all sorts in these times. In these times, yes, but... I... I let's just say I think that some amount of arson was probably inevitable with that group. That was the same feeling I got from them. I can message him. I've met him. I don't. He's trustworthy as far as that goes, I think. I only want to make sure that he doesn't burn Subri down. I think I'm based sure on what does. we saw, it might be far more likely the other way around, but I take your point. I'll send, um, I'll send him a message. He's old as fuck. He is, yes. Listen here, you old fuck. Subri was... Subri was... Memory modified. Now a mole. Woman on the inside. No murder, please. 
short and sweet. No cap. You have to finish it with no cap. No cap. <laughs> what? Because he might be like, you know, is this true? No cap. Okay, it's true. <laughs> Do you yes. base your, the truthfulness of a of a statement if it's ended by no cap? Well, that or dead ass or <laughs> good to know. Okay. Okay. You have to add a qualifier. <laughs> ah, for real, for real. <laughs> Some kind of affirmation. So, low, low, low key, high key, kind of a mess right now. Mm -hmm. um, and she gets the message back, and you see, like, just like the, just like the faintest hint of an amused smile cross her face. Uh. He says that it's understood. Indicates he won't um, give give back what she gave to him. Ah, uh, shouldn't he? He remembered me. It's because I called him an old fuck the last time I saw him too. The man's like a million. Wait, wait. So you're trying to tell me that you you just sent a message and he just sent it back to you? Yes. It's, it's, if it's clear as ours, has no fucking clue how magic works. And he's just like, well, well then you can just do the same thing with the, the Shadow Thieves and with, with the Radiant Heart and we'll all be on the same team. Um, I can, actually. I've known, don't know Tannis, and I know Dame L'Oreal, but, and I have enough spell slots to do so. Magic makes things so easy. Sometimes. Sometimes in, not. In this situation, I imagine it, oh, this situation being, talking with people it makes it very easy, but... Magic is also part of the reason we're all in this mess. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, Zarius, if you want magic, if you worship a god hard enough, they might give you some magic. You could also go make a deal with my auntie. Mm. A deal with an aunt? I don't know about that lady. <laughs> with, with my Oh, my mom's a gen. Sebastian's note mentioned something or other about a genie. Mm -hmm. And my auntie, by extension, also a gin. And where this one gets his powers. She points at Davril. That is correct. Is it true that if I take the lamp away, you lose your power? For the most part? His warlock powers are dwarfed by his own powers of seduction. Oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't I wasn't supposed to have to say it out loud, but you all just kept looking at me, so I think they were all I think everyone was like, Are you really gonna say this in front of in front of bubbles? In front, in front of his girl his girl's daughter. <laughs> we don't keep him around here for his warlock powers. That's not where his usefulness is. Oh, you, you keep him around for the dick? Is that that's it? <laughs> we keep him around for his influence I, and manipulation. I, I, I'm gonna take a step no. back. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, fuck it. I'll take out the magic card. Screw you, guys. I'm coming. You know. Uh, Zarius, if you want to learn magic, you could just, I don't know, go sit in a forest for a long time. Or read a book. Go to college. How do you feel about money? I don't have much of it. In fact, well. I've lost just about everything I had in this war. That sounds well, very tragic. Future. What's that? You've gained something. Uh, potential friends, at the very least. If I may be so bold. <laughs> I would be lucky just to be you guys' acquaintance. 
Well, you're lucky at that then. Yeah. Well, um, unfortunately, I just don't have a magic bone in my body. It's really a lot more trouble than it's worth most of the time. Very traumatic stuff. Oh my god, so, so much. Why is there so much trauma associated with magic? I don't... I feel like trauma's part of it. Is it's that like... That... Is the weave actually just like negative chi? Yeah. Like the more so. negative energy you oh, have in you, the stronger your 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 weave. Bad. It's just bad vibes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every bad decision you make or has ever been made against you turns into the weave around you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the those memes about the government created a watch that generates electricity with your stress. Yeah. That's why the, why the bad guys are so powerful. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, we've talked to Subri. Mm -hmm. Didn't we have other things on the itinerary for today? Shopping, maybe? We did prolong our shopping. I'd say it's about time, then. See if can... uh, shop still exists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can... Uh, Bubbles will go ahead and send messages... Or send, use sending to tell Tannis and Dame L'Oreal. The tea. Um, uh, Davril, do you continue just going back to Jeremy's? Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you'll say, you say, let's see if the shop still exists, and you turn around, Ian, and walk directly into the sign. Ow! It still exists, and it, yeah, hello, ow. Um, right this way, everyone. I don't know where's there. Whenever you need it, and seemingly always in front of my face. <laughs> um, you open a door to what looked to be a burnt-out building. Uh, the sign is sort of hanging from nothing, and it says Stars and Whiskers. And Ian opens the door, and inside this burnt-out building, you look around either side of the door, and there's nothing in the building. You look in the door, and you see the interior of a rather cozy magic shop. Uh, Aster? Are you, uh, in business? Yes, yeah, sure, I'm in here. Come in. <clears throat> um, as you come in, there's a tall changeling woman standing behind the counter. Um, long white hair, white skin, um, She's wearing uh, what looks to be like a velour robe and like what color would she wear? Oh, she'd wear something awful. It's like neon orange. Oh. This is not a color found in nature. Um, and she's got it belted and she does not look like she's slept very well, maybe in weeks. Oh, well, at least you're not dead. Same to you. Not yet. Yeah, same. So far. Huh. Aren't you a curious creature? <laughs> hmm. What can I do you for, sugar? Oh, and you brought the rest of them. Um, and a new, two new friends. Yes, uh, Zarius and I believe no one, or Miss One, or no, I'm not sure if it's a first name, last name situation, or, but mm. pleasant company, I think. Hello. Hello. Hey. Mm. What's the uh, stock looking like these days? Let's see. Well... It's been, um, let's say, let's say that 
heavily rotated. Heavily rotated. Heavily rotated is what the stock is looking like. Um, all right. I don't like anything on that. Uh, there you go. How much gold does everyone have? Um, 18,000. What? (laughs) (laughs) Well, all right. All right, so this, uh, in stock today, I've got, I've got this. And she flips open her hand in there. It's a little spinning stone in it. Iron stone of intellect. I can do you for. I'm not prepared. Um, <laughs> not prepared. Let's see. There we go. Uh, I could do you 3,000 for that. Mm. 2,800. I've got this. And she pulls out a shield. It's a round shield. It's got a big old tree carved into the front of it. Ooh. Plus two shield. Pretty. It is. This was actually something that a... Very, a very angry dwarf gave to me, traded me, at hmm. least, 5,500. Um, no one, like, took the interest, like, she was about to go grab a bit and, like, hearing, like, five, what was it again? 5,500. Like, hearing that, she kind of pulls out her pouch and looks at the small sack of um, you know, she has and counts and she just puts it up like looks down a little bit and goes <laughs> to the wall and just leans back a little bit and just waits for everyone if the sh- if I put up three short swords plus one will that bring down the shield why do you have three plus one short swords <laughs> she's from people we yeah. just, we kept killing people, so I was like, "Hey, did we get any stuff from them?" And it's like, "All right." Yep. Yep. Hold on. Let's see. But but but. Uh, yeah, that would bring it down a thousand apiece. So that bring it down to twenty five hundred for the shield. I also have I have mithril armor. She looks at bubbles, looks at looks at Daffle. Hmm. I do have one other thing. And she reaches under the desk and pulls out a scroll. She sort of waggles it in Davil's direction. Scroll of protection from elementals. That's spicy. Do you want to get fussy with your patron? Yeah, I feel like I do someone need that. I feel like if you do something mean to your patron, she'll just respect you for it. <laughs> I know. I, I, I mean, wait. Can I, does that make sense? Can I inside check that logic? Uh, yeah. Well, you might not be wrong. 50-50 risk. Plus, plus 50 the respect. the most person oh. from the party. You're like... I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Then you're like, 
the worst that could happen is that she strips me of my power. Wait, no, the worst that could happen is that she decides that she'd like to um, turn me into a a fine, a fine powder on the sidewalk. Ooh, yeah. Don't... don't 180 that. gold. You never know. <laughs> it could come in handy, uh, just in case, you know. It reason. could. It could come in handy for other reasons besides my own. That's uh, true. Sure, 180. Bubbles don't mm-hmm. tell. Unless we also forget to mention, you know, if someone she... like mind controls metal and he turns into like a air elemental, woo. Exactly. That is exactly what it's Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. It's, it really is better safe than sorry, Sugar. Yes. Um, I also have a fine assortment of potions and poisons. She does have a fully stocked apothecary, so you can get whatever potions or poisons up to, um, blue. Up to superior. I think that's as high as I can go. Well, if nobody's gonna buy the shield, then, um, after I put up the short swords, I'm just going to sell the short swords. Alright, that's, that's 3,000? Uh, oh, I'm always in the market for... For anything you'd like to sell. Remember, we do have an exclusive deal. And, you know, Willie's in the back and he has uh, been sorely lacking in custom work lately. He started um. animating the dust bunnies again. <laughs> <laughs> like on purpose or accidentally? Hard to tell. I uh, was curious if you had some um, spells in, in stock. Specifically, um, sending, detect magic, and teleportation circle. Uh, um, the highest level spell for that one is teleportation circle, I think. That's right. Um... Yeah, I think that you got some spell scrolls in boot anyway that you didn't pick the what it was. So, sure. Neat. Um, let's see. I does anyone want this scourge thing that I found, on the priestess, or should I go ahead and sell that? What's a scourge? Let's let's say that it's um. I thought we thought it was a mace. Like a fancy looking mace. It's like a flail. Yeah. Uh, let's say like 800 gold for all of the spells. The scrolls. Thank you. Um, nobody wants this. Uh, the scourge, it, I don't, it's not in there. I'm going to make a custom item. It's a plus one flail that does 5d6 poison damage on a hit. Flail is a... Not a weapon I'm good with. Rotas or our new associate Nolan. I personally don't have enough funds for any of these. No, I'm, I'm giving I'm giving you a chance to want this file. I can't. No, I'm fine. Well, it's uh, you've been tussling with priestesses of Loth again. Just a few. Yeah, they're back for some reason. Hmm. And after you went to all that trouble with Marika Salim Chant. Seems like her web covers the whole city. Hmm. Infestation. I tell you, cultists really are the worst part of any big city, honestly. You do not have to say that twice. Hmm. Merkel? I, I believe so. Uh, trip to Waterdeep was less of a vacation and more of a, I guess, uh, pest control. Hmm. I've been meaning to ask you, what are you, what have we, have you all been doing in Waterdeep? But 
Well, you know, a few cultists. A new friend. I far prefer the latter. Uh, uh. Ian, are you talking about me? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry, if you don't like the word friend, I could use acquaintance or asset. You're thinking about my assets? Okay, um, sticking with friend. <laughs> I think at this point, we've basically had a sleepover at my mom's house. You can call yourself my friend. You know, I'm actually not sure if I've ever had a sleepover at at least you've, someone's parents. You've never had a sleepover? I mean, I guess we always sleep in a similar room, so that's like a sleepover. So I take it back. No, no. When we get back to my, when we get back to mom's, we're going to have a real sleepover. We're going to light a fire. We're going to make s'mores. We're going to tell stories and braid each other's hair. Can you I mean, braid your hair? Take up the armor. It. <laughs> Well, yeah, watch. And she just actually just runs her hands through it and it just braids itself. <laughs> it's sort of floaty. I Ian tries to braid a very s short strand of his own hair. It doesn't she, takes go well. she takes over and does it for you. Uh, it's a little tiny braid that sticks out like this. <laughs> Miss Aster, do you have any stabs? Or... Stabs? I've got some sticks. Um, I've got quarter staves. I've got. Are you talking about like magical woo woo staves? Magical I've got my, woo woo staves. I've got my own, which you cannot have. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um. Uh. Well, do you have ten thousand gold? Then no, you cannot have my staff. Um. How much do you have on your metal? I got well after selling those. I oh selling those. Things, I've got five thousand. <laughs> you could have. You could see if Willie would be willing to enchant your stick. I didn't actually think any of you would have ten thousand gold. Don't want to sell you my staff. <laughs> I'm. I don't want your. Well, what is your staff? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> it is not for sale, is what it is. <laughs> I know it's not for sale, but what I, do you do? I either, to be honest, I would prefer a staff that can uh, that uh, a staff of healing or defense or uh, swarming insects. A staff of healing would probably be most useful. Honestly, do I look like? Do I really look like somebody who would have that? But... You, have, you have a magical shop that appears whenever we need it. I thought that's exactly what you would have. Uh, well, I meant as my own personal staff. Oh. Let's see. How much would a Boots of Speed cost to sneeze out? What's the boots. overhead on Boots of Speed sneezing? Boots of Speed sneezing. Um, let me take a look at that. Um, uh, Aster has a staff of lightning and thunder. Or thunder and lightning. Um, let me look at Boots of Speed and then I'll look at... Okay, that's a bitchy staff. Uh, boots of Speed. Um, for you, Cervantes, 3,500. You know, Aster, I'm a very persuasive man. <laughs> You're not my type, darling, but give it a no. shot. <laughs> How about 1,400 gold pieces? <laughs> do I need... I... Cervantes, do you... I need to... Do I need to spot you some money? How much money do you have? I mean, I have 5,000 gold and I don't... I may use it, I may not, I'm not sure. We have no... But... Or I have no... need for money, really. To enchant a staff into a staff of healing is... 8,000. Oh fuck, never mind, I need every cent I can get. <laughs> <laughs> 
you have 5,000 gold and you have no use What if I can already infuse it to a magical item and then you just said give it the healing properties? I think his staff is already magical. He's got a staff of bird bird calls. Yep, yep, I smack it on the ground and it makes a caw noise. Never mind then. Wonderful. I might just save my money. I'm telling you that I'm giving you all a very steep discount because I'm using sane magical prices and a staff of healing is listed on here for 16,000 gold. Oh yeah, oh fuck. I mean, you are getting a steep discount. <clears throat> steep all of discount. these have been quoted at a discount. Except for the staff of lightning and uh, of thunder and lightning because she didn't actually want to sell that. <laughs> How much did you get for the swords? 3,000. I got a, a thousand apiece. Oh wow. Man, we broke. If you'd like oh. to sell that Priestess of Loth Scourge, I'll give you 2000 for it. Okay. I will sell that, and then I will give that 2000 for metal, as well as 1000 for my own pocket. 8000 Man, we're broke. Really, you know, just think of the things we could have sold for... For all this money we need, looks at Poppy. <laughs> Poppy's invisible. But in anyway. um, looking around for some spare change. Uh, I think Cervantes has six thousand gold worth of wine in his bag. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you can't. You wouldn't take my wine. <laughs> Just saying, I, I haven't been that stingy with y'all. <laughs> Cervantes, do we need to have an intervention? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fine, I did I did drink one of them. I guess I don't need to drink all five. Mm. I'll sell her the bottles of wine. Alright, okay. I'll give you... For that staff, I'll give you every cent I have. Alright, you have a staff of healing. Give yeah. it here, I'll take it back to Willie. Give you my weird bird call staff. I don't even know, take... what it, know what it looks like. It's probably just a stick with a bunch of bird feathers on one end. Uh, it, it's actually a whole ass birdhouse on the top end. <laughs> it's just a whole ass birdhouse up there. It's made out of a gourd. That's why um, it chirps when you hit the ground. You're just smacking mm -hmm. their house against the ground. <laughs> there's actually there's actually <laughs> birds in there. Um, and you know, she takes it in the back and she hands it to Will and she's like, "Look, Willie, darling, you have work to do. Please stop playing shadow puppets." <laughs> uh, yes, I know that they. Yes, I know that they all have names. Please turn this into the staff of healing, um, and you just an entire flock of starlings shoots out the door, um, in a puff of wild magic, and then she comes back out with a uh, staff of healing. Thank you, Esther. You're very, very helpful. Mm. Never been accused of that before. Uh, Cervantes, how many bottles of wine are you selling? I'm selling... I think I had... I took one and then I grabbed like six more, so... I'll okay, sell then it's, six. You're gonna sell six, then that's six thousand gold. And then I'll take the Boots of Speed. Okay. Boots of Speed for you. I hand her my boots. Those bottles oh, of wine are are more money than I make, you know, an entire year. If you How worship you Joaquin, year, you too can find six thousand gold worth of wine in some rich person's cellar. I'm pretty sure worshippers give wine to their gods, not to store clerks, but who might choose? Well, this one worships Joaquin. She's the goddess. She's she's the goddess of commerce. Oh. <laughs> I believe this is considered worshipping if you're a Joaquin follower. Yes. Then know you're with Joaquin. Let's take back my statement. <clears throat> you said it was 33,500? For the... 3,500. For him to sneeze on my boots? Yeah. Um, as she takes it back, she's like, you're, you're really connect attached to these boots? These, these ones that have been on your feet for weeks? Yes, my darling wife bought them for me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Can't All right. For you. 
<laughs> These were the boots I was supposed to wear on my wedding day. <laughs> uh, I'll walk up and, and give Chavantes a little pat on the back. <laughs> they kind of, uh, you know what, boots of speed please, and she'll take them back, and uh, this time, um, you don't hear anything. No sound comes from the back at all. And she okay. walks back to the front. And she just sort of pantomimes at you. And hands the boots to you. <laughs> you see Cervantes raise his feet with, like, the sock that has a hole in it so his big toe's sticking out and he, like, twiddles his toes a little bit and then he slips it on. So... <laughs> Aster looks very relieved that you weren't going to ask her to put them on for you. <laughs> <laughs> We've been holding on to this one for a long time. Um, and I pull out the apparatus of Qualish. Uh, what use do I have with a metal lobster? I honestly do not know. But we haven't used it since we got it. You know, it's not too late. Like, there's always could, tomorrow. <laughs> we could always go down and visit the uh, underwater dragon friend we made. Oh, All right. We could. We um, could. I'll give Don't. you ten thousand gold for it. What? Fuck the dragon. Sell this. <laughs> uh, sure. I'll. I'll sell it and uh This is a legendary item. One, two, three, four, five, six. A uh, fucking submarine. Wait, did we just sell a legendary item for ten thousand gold? Yeah. Oh, we're stupid. I mean Metal doesn't know any better. <laughs> but also it's a lobster. Yeah, it's, it's a su uh, <laughs> a submarine shaped like a lobster. We all get uh sixteen sixty six gold. <laughs> 1,666. Sorry, and just stunned. And, uh, <laughs> six silver. Being Welcome an adventurer... Yeah. It being an adventurer is a very lucrative career. Um... We feel I like used to be an adventurer. Like until... you. Until... I is went that... to hell and came back, actually. Oh. Oh. How'd that go? Uh, surprisingly well, actually. <laughs> yeah. While we are talking about objects, I also have Arson's old Amulet of Health. Would anyone like this? What does it do exactly? It Make puts your, your con... 19. Uh, yeah. Sure, Sorry. I'll take it. <sighs> Alright, one Amulet of Health. I also we also have mithril half plate plus one, El boots of elven kind, a, cro a hand crossbow plus one, goggles of night, and kind cro heavy crossbow plus two. The uh, fuck? There's, al there's also the helm of comprehend languages that you got, and the helm of comprehend languages that we have, and a hundred and forty five crossbow bolts plus one. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> who, the, who in the hell sold that man that many crossbow bolts plus one? To be honest, I don't know, but I do know he goes through them very quickly. Mm. Or, he did go through them very quickly. Or somehow. Ian, <clears throat> little, little Ian is the one who sold that man that many crossbow bolts plus one. <laughs> that's that's so who sold him that many. So it's Ian's fault. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything. Does anybody not have dark vision? I don't have dark vision. I don't have dark vision. A bunch of blind fucks. <laughs> I don't, don't have dark, dark vision. Nope. Wow. Uh, I also don't have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> nope. But I have the it's spell just dark vision. It's just me. <laughs> yeah. B Bubble says I can see in the dark. And then you hear Poppy chime in. I can see in the dark too. Okay. What was that? Uh, Cervantes, he's uh, at, he's gonna hand you the goggles. Do I have to attune to these? But huh? 
Do I have to attune to these? No. Oh, but, but also, Cervantes, you kind of glow. Because you've got a... The, your whip is a, a moonlight whip. That's how I've gotten around <laughs> so far. Yeah, I'll that's just, why you all I just never out my, that you didn't have... My flashlight yeah. whip. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you never noticed that you didn't have dark vision because Cervantes emits a, a bright light. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Zarius, do you, is your armor better than Mithril Half Plate plus one? Or would you like a new set of armor? Yeah, this armor is just kind of for show and it kind of like bangs on it and it kind of makes this almost aluminum esque sort of uh, sound. It's like, Really, I'm, I'm more unarmored than anything. All right. Well, here have this, and you get uh, Arson's ult. It's like a dark, dark black or like muted gray half plate. It's got a chest piece, shoulder pads, uh, uh, bracers on the arms, and chain between all the pieces. And for some reason, it's incredibly light and incredibly strong. Sorry, so you wear an aluminum siding on your sh on your chest. I, I just picked up what I could off the battlefield. Oh, you know, the problem with that is that the people you're picking it off of are dead. So maybe their equipment's not always the best. <laughs> I, I never really picked anything up off of someone's body i feel like that would be disrespectful so well, they're dead they don't need maybe, it maybe worse than that it's probably their trash honestly uh, okay i take it back sugar you should start taking things off of people you kill on the battlefield that's <laughs> part of that's part of the gig um, i always felt bad but and they're dead they don't need it i always felt bad yeah, yeah, we kind of need that equipment more than the dead do. Uh, Think about it this way. When you, when you come across somebody who's dead with valuables on them, that's Joaquin blessing you with treasure. Zarius, I'll be honest, I very much feel the same way, and I usually just let everyone else do it, and then they usually share the money with me. Fair enough. Kind of skirts into a gray area, and it works for me. If you if it doesn't work for you, I get that. But um, don't tell them I'm I'm uncomfortable with it. Would it? Um, I steal you know stuff all mean? the time. <laughs> <laughs> I steal stuff all. <laughs> Nobody kind of notices. Struck me as a desperate times call for desperate measures kind of situation. Uh. Tavril, would you like some boots of elven kind? That's racist. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> uh, I mean, do I have to tune to them? Uh, no. Oh, in that case, yes, I would take them. They do give you advantage on stealth checks. And then... Oh, first the only elf in the party. Do you want these boots of elven guy? <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna say anything, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's why Poppy's here. <laughs> well, thank you, Poppy, for saying what we were all doing. That's right. That's what the I'm, part. I'm literally trying to spread items throughout the entire party, but now we're down to the crossbows, and I don't think anybody has crossbow expert. I can use a crossbow. Would you like a crossbow, a hand crossbow plus one, or a heavy crossbow plus two? Um, I probably won't use it, but I could use it. <laughs> okay. Well, as, a, as an entrepreneurial person, I, I would say that you could, in fact, sell all of these things also. I could. In fact, I think I'm going to. Uh, let's sell the heavy crossbow plus two, the, heavy, the, cross, the hand crossbow plus one, and all the bolts. I spelled weapon with an M. Um, Mepin. Yeah. Mepin. <laughs> uh, it's all right. Should I give you five thousand for poor dead Austin's stuff? How many? 
Oh, better hope that nobody five. decides nobody decides to true resurrect that man. It's not like he had any living relatives or anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, how many again? Sorry. Uh, 145 uh, plus one bolts. Jesus. I think he Jokes. spent like eight grand in gold in bolts alone. Yeah. Yeah. A dragon barfed on them. They had a lot of money. Yeah. Um, she looks at it and she counts them out and she goes 3,500 for the bolts. So, uh, 8,500 total, divided by six. Everybody gets, uh, 1,416 gold and six more silver. Round it up. So 1,000 what? 1,000, or 1,417 gold. Jesus. I'm still not selling you my stuff. Hey, boys. He he is flabbergasted. Ian, Sugar, I think that you could probably buy a seat on the council if it still existed with that much gold. You know, maybe I will at the end of this. Did you, just look at me? you sly boy. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I think that you feel a little bit... lighter. Oh, um... I, I It's been a good day, all things considered, I suppose. Um... I think things are looking brighter. That's wonderful. All the time I've known you, you've walked around like a little manic great, a little, little manic storm cloud. Well, there's always been a blue sky behind, and it's starting to show. Wonderful. Knew that Poppy was going to be a good influence on you. Anything else? Poppy, Um, can you, can you teach me something? Well, I probably can teach you something. What exactly is it that you want to learn? So, I don't, I kind of don't want my friends to die. You teach me, um, so I don't, I, I, I understand, I understand. Um, and, uh, Aster will teach Poppy. Let's see. <laughs> Boy, I made her weird. <laughs> um, made Aster weird? Oh, yeah. 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 She has a plus 11 to, cari- to, to persuasion and a plus 5 to animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Jeez, uh... She weird. Um... Languages... Uh, here we go. Uh, and... She will teach Poppy, um... Healing Word! All right, all right. Yeah. Very useful. Very useful. Hey. Um. Anything else? Quick question, Esther. I have a mm-hmm. breastplate with a plus one modifier added to it. Mm-hmm. What will it take mm-hmm. to get a plus two instead of a plus one? Mm-hmm. Do 
3,000. Bet. <laughs> Bet. It raises your former tank AC from 17 to 18. <laughs> <laughs> Nate. I might have been pressed into service as the tank. I'm not actually a tank. Neat. There we go. I edited Poppy to reflect that. <clears throat> okay. okay. Anything else? Cool. Um, so, as you can tell by that noise I made, like a stalling lawnmower, uh, I believe that I'm going to call it there. If you don't have anything um, else you'd like to buy, you can make your way to wherever it is that you intend to have a meal and a rest. Um, and we'll pick up there. Probably the bar on this side of the... I have a question oh. picking at my mind if, if if you're willing to share uh, I feel like Sebastian left out a few details um, I was just kind of curious what happened the, the first time that you went to the jail um, it says that that was the first time in forever that the anti-magic Cone was dispelled and kind of kicked off this whole thing. And hell no, I figured it would make sense to hear from the horse's mouth what happened. No. Well, I wasn't there. But. We maybe... cast exposition. <laughs> <laughs> You can you can you can role play it out if you want. <laughs> Metal has been given exposition. <laughs> yeah. I've been given. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Um, you all level up to level twelve. Whoa! Hey. Maybe I'll actually remember to give bubbles a some some spells time to take my level and bard let's see i was also going to ask if i can see you who is all wearing uh magical armor uh, I, I, think, I think everybody i'm kind mine just has a little magic pocket <laughs> yeah you do it does have a magic pocket oh that's, that's all that's magical about my armor <laughs> Um, well, noticing you, you're the one who likes the most magical, and seeing that you are more magical based, I'm gonna say, you, wizard boy. Ian! A pleasure Ian. to meet you, no one. Alright. Um, it seems you're the spell casting, ma the main spell caster here. I'm gonna hope this helps you. I'm gonna touch your, like, right up here, where your clothes are, and suddenly you it gains like more magical effects that you that you notice, and I give you mind sharpener. So it's a magical item, to where if you were to fail a con save, it would actually would succeed automatically. Yeah, four charges. Lovely. Artificial. The only downside, <laughs> yeah, the only downside is is that it has to be attuned. Now the good thing of being an artificer, do you want to into it? Attune to it? I do have an attunement open, so I could if you don't want to use up all your bullshit. I mean, I got two, or I got a slot left, so also attune to it if you want. I'll let you know if I find something more useful, but I think maintaining concentration is pretty good. Alright, and there you go. <laughs> Hey Zarius, mm -hmm. do you want to tell everybody what your armor class is now? Uh, it is 22. <laughs> nice. Hey, we're sharing the same yeah. AC. 
Oh my god. What? <laughs> Y'all kooks. That's why I wanted that shield. Imagine having a 24 AC. Alright, DM. Um, Throw some uh, more wizards I... at us. Hmm? Throw some more wizards at us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Alright, motherfuckers. Just wait. We're Intelligence like saving throws. Call the cow blizzard, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just uh, wait, you haven't even met any favorite consorts yet? There's a whole bunch of fucking Shatterkai wandering around the city? No. Mm. The last time we ran into a Shatter guy, they nearly wiped out the party. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, still, sure I can fine. still murder on occasion. Yeah, yeah. Murder as a treat. As a treat. I can have a little murder as a treat. Um, I love it. I'm, yeah. I have the relentless Avenger ability, which means that if someone runs from me, I can hit them and chase them down. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Bitch, get back here. Don't you fucking run away from me. <laughs> Don't you walk away from me. Um... I was also going to do the same, because I thought Cervantes only had a half plate, <laughs> just a regular one. Nope, breastplate. Or oh, breastplate. Just, was it breastplate plus one, two? It's now plus two. Fun fact, the official game doesn't have enchanted breastplates for some reason, so I had to, like, makeshift it. <laughs> That's yeah. Weird. Okay, that was weird. Alright, cool. Okay. Infusions, so. Excuse me, sorry. Um... I will ask you all to think about um, maybe some things that you would like to strategize or do in the city. Uh, in the next session, there will be some plan like drawn out planning time. Like I'll give you four or five days to sort of create a battle plan. Oh, easy. We go, go to the Golden Spires. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. And then, so, who's my Saturday people? Who's not showing up on Saturday? Not Saturdays. showing up on Saturday? Who's not showing uh, up on Saturday? This Saturday coming Saturday. up, I, w I will not be here, there. Yeah, I'm also probably not going to be able to make it. So, ever, so, so no one. Everyone's going to be <laughs> no gone. <one's> gonna <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. I miss your tales of Ivan. I was wondering when you could bring that back up. Yeah, that back uh, up. But if you want, Q, I um, think that I need a break next week. So if you wanted to take the Tuesday slot, you could do so. Okay. Like a break from like DMing. Yeah. I don't have I don't have anything else prepared for you all. I <laughs> so... Well, there was a campaign I bought for uh, roll twenty. Big money. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to take Tuesday, uh, Q for Tales of Lavinia, if everybody else could be there for for that, we could do that. We'll figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. I need I need to build some big set pieces, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so like instead of Saturday, we'll just do the Tuesday instead. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was. That's what I was yeah. proposing. I give me a a week in there where I can recoup a little bit and do some building. Okay. Dope. 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 Do dope. Bring back Nerium for Tuesday only. Nerium? Yeah, you can bring back Nerium if you want. Oh really? Well, actually, Nerium's dead in the lore. <laughs> hey, you guys saw me. You killed everyone. Also, I don't think you want Nerium to meet Legion. <laughs> what the fuck happened to her? A, a lot, a lot happened. <laughs> oh, I guess kill up my character. It's fine. I'll bring someone else. <laughs> every, every, technically, in the in the old campaign, everyone died but Legion. Oh. Yay! Wow, oh, cool. And Legion's at a bar. True. Mm -hmm. The waiter. What? Remember that. Well, Tuesday, 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 then. All right. Yeah. Have a good night, everyone. Okay, bonsoir. Great, great, great being back. I miss it.
Welcome back. Good to have you back. Welcome back. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.